turned 30 a couple of months ago. Give me a cheer if you're like 30 or above in this room. Well, uh, <laughs> not a lot. We're a dying breed. <laughs> it's not that bad, it's not that bad, guys. Um, turning 30 is like into like the fifth season of a TV show. It's like, it's still good. It's not getting better, though. It's a bit formulaic at this point. If you've not got the critical acclaim that you want, you're not getting in the fifth season. <laughs> the most surprising part is one more guest appearances by Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I thought I'd have less anxiety in my life, but I don't. I just have anxiety about different things now. I'm sorry. Like, for instance, like I used to be terrified of failing exams. I'm sure that's a pretty common thing in this room. But the last exam that I sat, my only anxiety was getting caught cheating off the guy beside me. <laughs> now, I know cheating is looked down upon here, certainly at Bristol, but, I mean, there was a really important prostate exam. <laughs> and, in my defence, that guy was fucking acing it. <laughs> yeah, um, it feels a weird thing when you turn 30, like, like I said, I used to be terrified of like failing exams, I used to be terrified of like not getting a job. Nowadays, my biggest fear is getting hit in the head with a hammer repeatedly. <laughs> Physical violence, guys, it's a real thing. I didn't even think about it before I turned 30. But I mean, it's uh, an irrational fear. Like, in many ways, the hammer's more scared of me. Than <laughs> We all know the old urban legends. You swallow at least ten hammers in your sleep. <laughs> 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 <laughs>